All right, welcome back guys. I'm back in Bangkok and I'm back in Bangkok's old town. I'm just around the corner from the giant swing, not too far from Ratana Kalsin. So we're at a 50 year old hacker noodle with the old care shop called Je Pen. Interestingly enough, it's also doubles up as a coffee shop full to the brim with antique cars. So unfortunately we can't go in and sit down because grandma is quite old and a little bit worried about COVID. So we're not gonna go inside, but we, I have been able to film from the outside. Super cool inside. They've got all these old vintage cars, vintage clocks, all sorts of stuff. But what I am most interested in is these noodles. They also sell Thai tea. And as you know, I'm addicted. So I'll grab one of those. Without further ado, I'll stop rambling. Let's go. So these are the fried, handmade fried pork balls. Carb. Oh. Ani apa lain? Ani tahu. Tahu. Tahu mu. Tahu yat sai mu. Kap. Ani. Ani luk cincai tahu. Cincai tahu. Kap. Ah, cincai tahu. Kap. Okay. You speak put angkat apa? Dai kap. Okay. We speak English now. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit not too much kap. Better than my Thai, cuma. Kap. All right, so first off, I'm going to show you the Kui Tiao Ke, which is Hakka noodles. Now, you will know if you follow me, you'll have seen my Ceylon video when I went and got Hakka noodles there in a really famous place. These are a little bit different, um, just some different stuff in there. I'll explain what we've got in a sec if you didn't see what he was putting in. So I just want to show you the soup because before I had like a Tom Yum, uh, a spicy version, and this is just pure pork and look at the color of this soup cloudy almost almost ramen like peppery soup we've got homemade pork balls we've got a radish dumpling we've got look chin wood hard which we saw a second ago which are the handmade deep fried pork balls uh, and then we've got tawu which is tofu say more tawu say more so we've got pork mince in uh, a piece of tofu and that's been boiled as well and then we've got some garlic oil some ton hom and pak chi which is spring onion and coriander or cilantro we've got some balls they could be fish i guess uh just some bean sprouts and an original send me now uh stick told me that these are the original hacker noodles so you can pick send me send yai uh sen let but she said the original are send me so we're going to try these even though they're not my favorite noodles Right, so I want to try the broth before I put anything in. It's a small bowl, thankfully, because I'm getting a cow soy as well in a sec. Mm. It reminds me of the broth that I got in Rang Rang noodle. Is it Rang Rang? In Sukhumvit, it's a famous pork noodle there. It's clean and just pure pork bone flavor. Very well seasoned. It's quite salty, which is to my palate, as you know. So I'm not gonna add any fish sauce. What I might do though, is add a little bit of the chili uh, and the chili vinegar. Uh, pick bon and pick nam som. That's tremendous, that's one of the best. Without putting anything in it, that's one of the best pork soups I've had in Bangkok. Right, but as I said, it's quite salty, so, which for me is good, but we're gonna cut it. Salty, quite rich, very, very porky. Some of that chili vinegar in. A nice scoop of, pick one, oh, that is a proper scoop, isn't it? It's spicy, sour, with the pounded chili vinegar. I like this one where it's all pounded up red and green chilies, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit more salt. Very, 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 very well seasoned for me. I got the Senmi noodles, because that's what she told me to do, but the only time I really like Senmi noodles is when, when I get them stir fried, like a pad siyu in a radna shop. So if you went to Yod Pak around the corner and got Senmi, Love that. Let's try this pork ball. 
like a little pork patty. A step up from your usual processed pork balls in Bangkok. Just gonna eat this. Tahu. Say more. Um, in one. Soft. Again, perfectly seasoned, peppery. Got that soft, silky tofu underneath. Coarse pork mince on top. Very well seasoned. Classic Hakka Chinese addition. If you remember the Hakka Chinese store I stopped in on Convent, Soy Convent, I weren't mad on the fish balls. I also didn't like the Luk Jin Mould Hard in there either, so. But that, that's much better. Oh, that is a hundred times better. And the little radish dumpling, you've got like a soft, silky tapioca wrapper, salty, sweet radish. And I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of uh, dried shrimp in there. So yeah, all in all, I've said well seasoned a lot, but this is perfectly, perfectly seasoned. You've got that garlic all going through there. Just a perfect, comforting bowl of noodles to eat in this rainy, dreary weather. Right, again, uh, I can take or leave the fish balls, they're not really my style, but um, on to the cow soy, which is what you probably came for. But first, all right, real quick, guys, I just want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark, for supporting this channel and for keeping my data safe as I travel across Asia. Now, if you're not familiar with a VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And what that means is that when you're using the VPN, anything you are sending over the internet is encrypted, meaning your data can't be stolen and you can't be tracked. Why am I telling you this? Why is it important? Well, as the world opens back up again, travel opens back up again, I know a lot of you guys are coming out to Thailand. Now, while you're in Thailand, you're gonna be using restaurant Wi-Fi, hotel Wi-Fi, coffee shop Wi-Fi, and it's nice to have that peace of mind while you're here, knowing that wherever you are, whatever you're sending over the internet, that is secure. On top of that, probably the most exciting thing for me, even better than not having all of my data stolen, is the fact that with a VPN and a virtual location, you can unlock with one click of a button an array of content. Obviously, being English myself and my wife, we like to keep up to date with English TV that we cannot watch while we're in Thailand. So if you're traveling, you can do that with Surfshark VPN. Now, I've used an array of different VPNs in my time. I've used all of the big hitters, and I can say, hand on heart, Surfshark is the number one VPN I've ever used. Lightning fast, no buffering. So, I've teamed up with Surfshark to give you the best deal possible today. We've got 83% off with an extra three months. So, you get 15 months for the price of 12 with added antivirus software, so your data is absolutely secure. Thank you again, Surfshark, for sponsoring this video. Now, guys, let's get back to the noodles. All right, guys, so we've got our cow soy, we've got the crispy noodles, we've got a chicken drumstick, some, again, Pak Chi and Ton Hom. I've just put the lime in like an idiot instead of squeezing it in. So I'll squeeze that in now, so I don't forget. We've also got those egg noodles. And that's all in a curried coconut broth. Now it looks like they've used fresh coconut milk here because it's gone kind of like mottled. Uh, that's a good way to tell it's fresh. We've got some pickled mustard greens, some pak nong, and just some sliced hom deng. Right, we've also got a nice pot of chili sauce. I'm not gonna go as mad as the last one. She said pik pao, she said, but that means chili paste, I think like, Pick tam ing, some people call it, just homemade chili oil. Um, and then we're gonna mix all that up and see where we go, guys. See what we've got. So it's quite dark. It's like a brownish color. I don't like it when it's too yellow, like too much turmeric in it and not enough chilies. This is the color I'm looking for. That's one of the better cow sides I've had, you know heavily spiced, really well spiced. Got a lot of coriander, see, toasted coriander, cardamom. And the main flavor really from a cow soy is coming from the, from the roasted shallots and ginger in the paste. It's one of the only paste, curry paste in Thailand that uses ginger. When you go onto like a site in the UK, 
uh, like the BBC or one of those, not just singling them out, there's loads of bad recipes online, but you go online and it will say to put ginger in a paste, like a green and red curry paste, when it should be gal and gal, and it drives me absolutely insane. Right, chicken's not the most tender I've ever had, but it's not by any means hard, it's just not like falling off the bone. These noodles, these bami noodles are just the same noodles they'll use in any of the Chinese noodles. They're just thicker egg noodles. They're not like classic, the like sort of brighter yellow cow soy noodles, but that doesn't bother me. This broth is fantastic. I keep going on about textures in my videos, and this is one of the dishes that has so much texture. You've got the crispy, crunchy noodles, you've got the soft egg noodles, you've got the stewed chicken, and you've got like the crunchy, fresh red onion or shallots, depending on what they've got that particular day. And then you've got that crunchy, pickled, sour, mustard green. So texturally, it's amazing. Tastes incredible. It's rich, it's creamy, it's spicy. Sour from the lime juice and the pickle. But I just can't get over how well this is spiced. There's just so much depth to the dish. A lot of times in Bangkok, you're gonna get this dish. It's just gonna be thick coconut milk. Very, very sweet. There's a really famous one here. It's, um, it's a chain, but it's just a small chain. Won't name the name. People think it's absolutely incredible, but for me, it's just too sweet and too creamy. This strikes a good balance between being, you know, not too thick, not too watery. Absolutely perfect. The, 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 as I keep saying, the depth of flavor from the roasted shallots, the roasted ginger, and they've spiced it absolutely perfectly. I asked why they sell Hakka Chinese noodles and Khao Sai, and the Khao Sai because the mother-in-law is from Chiang Mai, so they sell two different types of noodles. I don't honestly know where I could tell you in this area where you could get a better bowl of Khao Sai than this. This is like, yeah, this is easily the best um, I've had in this area. And they actually also do traditional Thai coffee and Thai tea here. So I'm gonna grab myself a Thai tea because as you know, if you're following me the last few weeks, I've got addicted again. So I'm gonna get one, try and get it not too sweet today. And we'll see how they make a traditional Thai tea. So really what a better way to finish off my morning than with a nice iced chai yen. Oh, I said wan noi and it is actually not that sweet. Although there was a still a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of condensed milk. It's not too sweet though, not compared to the one I had the other day. I think this is like the least sweet you can get. And then if you go any less sweet than this, there is no sugar, it's just one or the other. Get yourselves down and yourselves to Jie Pen Hacker Noodles. It's right around the corner from Natapon Ice Cream. You might have seen me do before. Right at the end of the road, you've got Kor Panit, Mango Sticky Rice, County or Mat uh, Just around the corner, Yod Pak 40. You've got the Boiloy Shop I've done. I've done so many videos around here now. I'll link those all in the description box below. This could be one of the best. Excellent noodles. I would get them with rice noodles next time, no fish balls. And the cow soy, honestly guys, spot on. The best I've had anywhere around the old town. Anyway, the sun's come back out now, even though I'm absolutely drenched. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of my little advert. Uh, it's the first one I've done, so be kind, please. Uh, or be constructive, one of the two. And I will see you in the next one.